We are here tonight at St. Pedesca Bay, Greenlawn, New York. And we're doing a Midnight Run dot org homeless run tonight. So we're going to give out food donations. We made 150 meals, hot chocolate, homemade soup, and collected a wealth of uh, clothing from coats to sweaters to thermals to women's clothing, shoes, blankets. All the kids at St. Paraskevi gathered together to sort everything. It's a huge endeavor, but when everybody comes together, they really make it happen. And here at St. Paraskevi, thank God we have um, people who are faithful and good, and they come together to make this night a success. You're going to put one of these, one of these, one comb, one toothbrush, one razor kit. You have another 10 years to go. And hand sanitizer. All right, then you gotta squeeze all the air out. You say God bless. Close it. And drop. Living on the streets, having a family without having a roof over your head is probably one of the hardest things to do. The poverty that we're, we're suffering today is because of the economy collapsing of maybe some of us getting ahead of ourselves and that with the economy collapsing, not being able to get back on our feet, not get back on our feet after a medical mis you know, misfortune. Look, a misfortune, someone gets sick and seriously sick, that just, you just wiped out. You've lost everything, how do you rebuild? There's so many ways to get involved. I have to say that just doing this ministry, we learned a lot more about the homeless people and people who need help right here in Huntington. Look for us. We'll come help you. I think that once people start spreading the word, more people will help those. And it, it's, not, it's not just the food in their bellies, it's the hope that they're given by tonight. If you find yourself in a tough time in life, the best way to get out of that is just to spread love. Because when you spread love, it comes back to you a hundredfold. Life is not about us. Life is about everything around us and everyone around us. Going to Manhattan in the middle of the night, feeding people, giving them clothing, something to drink, talking with them, just learning about who these people are. And they're so thankful and grateful for everything that we do. And the children that go with them are just, for lack of a better term, blown away by this and they come home with a new sense of gratification for what they have. This type of ministry to serve the homeless is something that we're taught from when we're very young because uh, what we're taught to do is to help the poor and not be judgmental and to be kind and good to others and these kids are the perfect representation of who we are so we're very proud of them. So now we're getting on the bus, we're going to head to the city.